Good evening ladies and gentlemen. In today's tutorial we are going to look at a comparison test. Why it is so important to use comparison test uh, to determine whether the integral is convergent or divergent and also how we can use it to approximate maybe the area or the proper to approximate the integral of the function. You know by definition the integral of the function is just the area under the curve. So if the function cannot be integrated easily, then we can tell whether we can find uh, the approximate area which is almost exact or not. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use comparison test to answer, uh, to find integrals to the given function. For example, in the here, we have the definition of a comparison test. If g of x is greater than, uh, if f of x is greater than g of x and uh, g is uh, greater than 0 on the interval a to infinity, then by comparison test, if f of x, the integral of f of x is convergent, so does the integral for g of x in this, integ uh, in this uh, interval. Also, if g of x is, the integral of g of x is divergent, then the integral for f of x is also divergent in this inter integral. So we are going to answer these two questions here, this one and this one, using the comparison test. But let us understand what it means by comparison test. For example, if I have f of x is a function like this, f of x, then since f of x is above uh, the y-axis here, then it is greater than zero. So it has satisfied the first, it has satisfied this equation, inequality there. And also, Looking at this graph from A to infinite, if this graph is crossed somewhere like that, then we can find the approximate area of integral here. But if it will go like this as x approaches infinite, we can't find the exact area because the area of uh, the area under the graph will also diverge or be increasing every time we increase the value of x but if it is crossed like this the area can be found by approximation as x increases the area will remain constant at some time now there also there is also another function here g of x if i have um, g of x g of x must be less than f of x so we are going to have g of x somewhere here it can be like that so what this statement what this theorem says as long as g of x is down is under f of x if the uh, this integral above is conver converg convergent then even the integral down here Will also be convergent because this one is convergent on top it is possible even this one will also be convergent but if the function down here is divergent it is increasing and the function on top is greater than g of x if this is divergent even the function on top will diverge if the function down here, the area is big, cannot be found by any means. Even the function on top, since this function is greater than this one, then even this function, the area will approach to infinite. So that's what this theorem states. Now let us uh, find the integral. Let us use comparison tests to determine whether the integral of a to infinite cos 
squared of x divided by x squared dx is convergent or divergent. So first of all, we have to make sure that our integral satisfies this, uh, this it satisfies this inequality. So we know that we start by writing cos squared of x, cos squared of x, since it has got a square here, it is greater than uh, 0. So it has satisfied that inequality. But cos squared cannot be greater than 1. So we'll say 1 must be greater or equal to cos squared. And cos squared must be greater or equal to 0. We can only find the values for every value of x, we can only find the values between 1 and 0 in cos, cosine squared of x. Then, so we have seen that there is, our, uh, there is a function in between here. We have a 1 and a 0 this side. So it has satisfied that to be valid. Now let us divide x throughout, x squared throughout, so that we have the original equation. Then we are going to say 1 is greater or equal to cos squared of x divided by x squared less than or equal to 0. Here we should have x squared. Even here I have to divide x squared, but 0 divided by x squared is 0. We have to divide through both sides by x squared. So we have got now the equation that we have in our original equation. Now we have to integrate from 2 to infinity. So I'll say the integral this side, if I integrate this side, I'll have the integral from 2 to infinity, 1 over x squared dx should be greater or equal to cos. Even here the function will be integrated. So 2 to infinity cosine of x squared divided by x squared. So these two are greater than 0. So we have now this function 1 over x squared being greater than the function greater or equal to cos squared of x over x squared. So, we have this part of the comparison test. So, what it means, if this function on top is the, the integral of this function on top is convergent, so even in even this function, the integral will also converge, uh, provided that we are integrating them in the same interval. But if the function down here is divergent, then we expect even the, uh, the integral of the top function to be divergent as well. So let us try to see. Uh, this one we can integrate, but there is a what we call p test. So if I have the integral of 2 Okay, let me put a to infinity of x squared, x power p dx. This is convergent provided that p is greater than 1. Then this is convergent. You can even try, try to integrate this function. You see that you find the value. So similar here, our p for this function, p is greater than, p is equal to 2. p is equal to 2, which is greater than 1. In this case, we, we are sure that this function, the integral of, uh, the integral from 2 to infinity of x squared dx, is convergent. So by comparison test, the integral of this function is convergent, 
so does this the integral of this function in the interval a to infinity 2 to infinity so we conclude that um, by comparison test the integral of 2 to infinity cosine squared of x over x squared x is also convergent all right we have another problem we want to determine whether this function whether this integral is convergent in the interval 3 to infinity so to determine whether this uh, integral is convergent we are going to use the fact that if x plus e, uh, x plus x is always greater greater than e power x in this interval 3 to uh, infinite you can even try if i put 3 here and 3 there i have a bigger number this side and this side will be we have a less uh, a smaller number so from here um, we want to form this function out of this inequality so what we are going to do is we are going to divide this into 1 and also this side into 1 so we'll say 1 divided by x plus e x is now the sign of change because we have divided this will be less than 1 divided by e x from comparison test we can see that now our function of interest is less than this function so since this function is under this function we'll say that if this part is um, convergent then even the function under will also be convergent also if this function under is uh, divergent then our function is also our function 1 over e, e exponent of x is also divergent so let us try to see so from here our prime integrals both sides i'll say the integral of 1 over x plus e x is less than dx is less than the integral of 1 over the exponent of x dx like that we are integrating from 3 to infinity and also 3 to infinity. So, since we cannot integrate, it's hard to integrate this part, we will use this idea here. So, uh, our integral 3 to infinity 1 over x plus exponent of x dx is equal to what we need to see to show is that this function is convergent so i'll say 3 to infinite e minus x dx like that so let us integrate this part in um, this one we are going to have uh, x dx is less than when we integrate this one we have negative e minus x and then from 3 to infinite um, from here We'll say the integral this one over x plus e x dx should be less than so the upper limit here is infinity we have negative e power negative infinity minus the lower limit negative e minus 3 like that and then from here we we'll say our integral 1 over x plus e x dx should be less than this part is just uh, e 1 divided by exponent of infinite exponent of infinite is an infinite so it is exponent of infinite is an infinite one divided by infinite is zero so we have got a zero here zero this times that we have plus e minus three so this uh, integral is giving us this value 
so you can see that it is converging this side uh, the value uh, the, the integral is converging to e exponent of negative 3 therefore we say that since the function above is convergent even the function below is also convergent so by comparison test the integral 3 to infinite 1 over x plus dx dx is convergent so it is possible to find the area the exact approximate or the approximated area of this integral for today we will end here but in the next uh, tutorial i'll be covering something on the divergent where the integrals will be diverging enjoy your day remember to subscribe to this channel